Hi friends, my name is Preeta. Let me introduce myself. I am born and brought up in Bombay, but my heart belongs to Tamil Nadu. I am basically from the Madurai district and obviously it's influenced the cuisine or the food that I make daily. Though I've been with the food industry for 10 long years, dabbling with food shows, menu development, food styling, etc. Cooking Tamilian food at home is what excites me the most. Like you might all agree, coconut is a really integral ingredient that is used in our recipes on a day-to-day -day basis. We just can't do without coconut. So I thought let's start with an extremely simple recipe which is really easy to make and serve even if you have a big guest line. Today I'll be showing you how to make coconut rice which is also called as Tengai Sadam down south. Down south, any festival will be incomplete if coconut rice is not a part of it. Coconut rice is an integral part of many festivals, be it our Navratri, be it our Lakshmi Nombu, be it our Pongal. All these festivals always have some space for coconut rice. So let's go through the ingredients for coconut rice. About half a cup of grated coconut. I have basically chopped the coconut and grated it in the mixer. If you want to grate it, Using your hand grater, you can do that also. About a cup of cooked rice. I have used half a cup of uncooked rice. Please remember that the volume triples on cooking. Apart from that, we'll be using the basic tadka ingredients. About a teaspoon of mustard seeds, a teaspoon of urad dal, a teaspoon of chana dal, finely chopped green chilies according to your taste, some ginger, curry leaves, hing, coriander leaves, salt, and last but not the least, cooking oil. Suppose you have noted down the ingredients, so let's get to the recipe. So to start with, I'm going to pour around a tablespoon to two, one and a half tablespoons of oil in a pan. Allow it to heat it up a little. That way the mustard seeds will crackle faster. Once your oil is hot, you add around a teaspoon of mustard seeds and allow them to crackle. Just love the sound of mustard seeds crackling. Gets me really hungry. Now that the mustard seeds are crackling, let's add the next ingredient that's urad dal. About a teaspoon or so. As you can see, they're starting to brown. It's time to add the next ingredient. That's a chana dal, around a teaspoon. There's a lot of crunch in this recipe, as you can see. A lot of ingredients that you can to get a crack in your mouth. Follow it with some green chilies, as per your taste. some ginger and some cutlets. Oh, look at that sound. It's time to add the coconut. About half a cup of grated coconut. There is no need, some people don't saute the coconut a lot, but sauteing the coconut in oil allows the coconut to absorb the flavors of the spices and also gives it a little more shelf life than normal. And don't forget it adds to the crunch. Whilst this is happening, I have soaked asafoetida in some water. South Indians don't like to use the powdered form of heeing. They prefer using the 
the gum form which they soak in water and then use it so i'll be using around a two to three teaspoons or so of that and salt to taste you can add the salt later on also once you are adding the rice but i always prefer to add the salt beforehand makes it easy to mix in as you can see we are already at the end of the recipe you just need to add the rice we are using short grained rice that's what south indians use you are free to use basmati rice if you wish just give it a quick stir you can see it hardly took a minute to do this recipe if your coconut is already grated your rice is already cooked i mean you cannot ask for a quicker meal than this serve it up with a raita or with a pachdi that's what they call it in downtown south or just with curd plain curd and some pickles i guess your meal is done and last but not the least some coriander for garnish and for flavor i like to add some coriander and mix it up gives a nice flavor a nice fresh flavor okay now that our rice is ready it's time to plate it like i told you earlier can eat it as a meal just on its own or have it with curd or pachdi now that our coconut rice is ready i am sure that you are definitely going to try this at home please do try it out and let me know how you like it and definitely please do not forget to subscribe to india food network until next time it's preeta signing off bye